Here's a quick tutorial about this meditative scene drawing process. It's a way to relax and it's quite different than a normal drawing in terms of what the goals are. First off, we'll be drawing some simple natural object. I picked a few things here. This is a dead, I think this is a piece of choya off my land, a flower, sort of decaying palm root. Uh, so something simple, organic, and fairly small. And the arrangement is that if you're right-handed, you'd want the paper on the right. And for the let me get this. for the first drawing, these are the steps over here, which I'll go over. Um, and then I just want to talk about the principle of this is a drawing of contour. So contour is what we can see. Uh, what we can feel actually so it's as if we're touching something and we feel all these crenellations things like iPhones don't have much contour um, lots of objects that are machine made aren't full of contour but natural objects tend to have a lot so you can tell like this is very complex and irregular and basically the metaphor for this scene drawing process is that you're going to be tracking you're going to be traveling your eye over this small kind of insignificant object moving your eye as if you're an ant walking over a leaf or stick so the and then just to talk about a piece of paper has almost no contour and then when you do that to it it has lots of contour and again the let me get my pen the contour of this would be what i can touch and when I do the drawing, you don't, you're not going to draw on the piece of paper the stick. But I'm just showing that you're going to, it's going to be an eight or nine minute line. And basically the hand with the pen or pencil is just a seismograph of what the eye is moving. One of the trickiest things about a scene drawing is that the entire time you do it, you don't look at the object. So I'm going to choose this piece of choya bark and let me just do the process i'll uh, allow about 10 minutes it should be done like alone out in nature which could be just out on your patio or whatever and just let people know that you're doing something that's a mindfulness practice and that you can't be disturbed so first i'm just gonna even just touch this object it's got a lot of different things it has hollowness and now let's let's just go dive into this Step one is let your eye fall upon some object. So my hand is, I'm right-handed, my paper's to the right. I'm going to separate the object from the paper a fair bit. I want to give the object, I'm going to stare at the object for 10 minutes, and I'm going to try not to look at the paper. So in, it's easier if you keep the paper way off to the right or left, depending on right-handed, left-handed. So most drawings you just dive in and draw, but in this drawing you do a couple minutes of, of preparation, and I'll not I'll not wait them out that long. My my eyes are gazing at this object in detail and clarity. I'm just beginning to think like if I could touch that, or if I was an ant walking over it, where might I start walking? So I'm gazing only at the object, really trying to see the contour. And then the second step, after a minute of gazing, the second step is kind of unusual. You close your eyes and you try to remember and imagine vividly a particular point on that object. And you keep your eyes closed for about a minute. And then when you're ready to draw, you open your eyes. Let your eye rest on one particular spot and again it's the size of an ant and then I'm going to begin to draw and it's all about going slowly and remember it's it's a single line so if you draw for eight minutes the pen never leaves the piece of paper and we're not trying to get a pr pretty drawing we're trying to get a great memory of this little organic object so now My eye is resting on a particular part of this branch. I'm going to very slowly walk my eye 
over the sur surface of this object for the next eight minutes. Notice how slowly my hand is going. You don't need to complete the whole object. If you've been taught to draw, it's almost harder to do this because you don't need to draw the whole perimeter and then fill it in. Very slowly, ants can't fly, so you're walking your eye over little nooks and crannies of this rather complicated object that hopefully a week from now you'd be able to remember some of if you are able to concentrate on it intensely enough. If your pen or pencil goes off the paper, just drop it down. If you follow the rules, you'll get to look at it only when you're done. Again, I'm just walking over all the hills and valleys of this little object. And it's this sort of pace. Try not to look. Try to go very, very slowly, literally at the walking pace of an ant. Ah, take a deep breath, relax. This isn't about some pretty picture we need to show off. Just try and have it be you and this little object you're drawing for 10 minutes. If a distracting thought comes up, oh, okay, I guess I'm hungry, but I'm going to do this for seven more minutes, and then I'll go have lunch. So let's pretend that was eight minutes of drawing. Now I get to finally look at my object, and that's what it is. It's not, it's not going to be, I think these are beautiful, but they're not about... They're not about the artifact, and that's one thing we're going to learn in the class is almost like all artists that are serious about their art, they're into the process. They, they, you know, I'll just speak for myself. When I was a painter, I loved my paintings. Sometimes I hated them. It was going well. It was going badly. Uh, and then when I was done, some of those paintings I still have from 35 years ago. But for the most part, an artist is interested in how good it felt to paint, not in the picture itself and this this process is kind of a nice reminder of that and in fact we could just throw this thing away so I hope that works for you try the process for 10 minutes again on your own outdoors is probably better uh, find an interesting object that's organic and has complexity to it try it for 10 minutes in the next day or so and then before our next class meeting, try it again in a different setting with a different object. And you don't need to write it down, but just note, how did you feel each time? Were you more able to concentrate if you were outdoors versus indoors? Did one object, or did you simply have less on your mind? So it's a meditative process. It's not about the product. Enjoy.